Hi beautiful souls, hope you are doing incredibly good in this moment, in this second that you're watching that video. I'm so glad I'm back on my YouTube channel again. <laughs> so today the subject will be about navigating that existence in our essence. I feel like since we were created, since we were born, we've been fed, fed a way of being, a way of going about things that is ideal to function in that society, to function in that pretty world, to function in that system, we, we could work for, um, uh, for some people and could work to make us understand some concept that afterwards we can decide if they are fit, a fitting or not to ourselves. And I want to promote people just going for whatever their essence are. And what create an essence is every aspect and nuances of who you are being showcased exactly for what they are without being guilty or ashamed of being a way that doesn't fit the ideal scenario and the ideal picture that generation and generation have brought and make them survive until now right we are in a different generation we're in a different uh world that give opportunity for people to feel less and less worried that if being themselves gonna get them in big trouble and there's still a level of trouble of course but it's like we have built that confidence now that we have different rights and different voices and we will not let ourselves being dismissed for who we are without having a fight right so all the things that include a sense are all also the things that are less noble or less um celebrated in this world we like to have an emphasis on all the things that are positive and uh, good for other people and worthy of a trophy or something like this a uh, a group of things and attitude and way of going about life that is more celebrated than an other but both sides of ourselves are good we all have a positive side and a negative side a higher lighter part of ourselves and a darker lower part of ourselves but both have to exist to even mix us us we cannot just be all that perfection and light and wisdom without having the light uh, the darker side the the lesson side, the pain side that comes with it. They both have to exist to create that balance and um, structure and secure human being. If you don't go through pain, you will not know what happiness is. If you don't go through hardship, you won't know what bliss is. It's like all that yin and yang system, masculine and feminine, light and dark, that creates unity and balance in this world and your essence what makes you you what makes you exactly that unique entity is both of those sides and i feel like it's time to put some lights on the part of ourselves that are less celebrated and to accept that sometimes we get angry and sometimes we are ashamed of something or sometimes we feel guilty of something there's all those emotions that we have to celebrate as well that they are all signal and way to identify something to inside of ourselves that we will not be aware otherwise if we didn't have those trigger and emotions there's a lot of things we, we will not know that we were going through if our body wasn't reacting when we get a disease or if we were not crying when we are sad there's a lot we will not be able to identify and to push and to find like um the story and the the process that led to have that emotion so here i have to first of all encourage you to when you feel tired when you feel unmotivated depressed pain um anger all those emotions that you are allowed to feel them as long as you need to feel them there's not a better or worse way to deal with them than to feel them if you want to scream, if you want to cry, if you want to just 
express yourself do those things do those things in your own verbal because you don't want to just project on other people your feeling and then mess up things because you will not you were not um, able to just <clears throat> express it for yourself so a way to that i express my emotion for myself is i write in a journal that doesn't hurt anybody then the uh, maybe the journal get hurt but other than that nobody get hurt and or i'm gonna make voice i'm gonna do record my voice talking like i'm talking to somebody but i'm not sending it to anybody right it's only about me and myself and it expand our whole being when we allow ourselves to just express whatever coming because when we're not expressing it it's staying in our body and it can come uh, become so many other things like disease and we, we, we don't want to get sick by not keeping that rotation of i get triggered and i indulge and i express it to let go of it and not letting it roll in inside of myself right what creates you the essence that creates you it can be as weird as you think it will it is needed in this world we will not look at all the flowers in a garden and say there's some flowers that don't belong there they all flowers they all belong there and what makes the garden so beautiful is the fact that they're so different colors and form and height etc of flowers that exist into that garden so it's the same with who you are like there's so many nuances and there's no there's no two people that are the same even twins are not even the same person like they don't have the same personality so whatever makes you you even if it's not celebrated is needed in this world and maybe the fact that you are not celebrating your own essence is not unlocking that door for people after you that want to step into that essence sometimes it just it just we just need one person one soul to step into their truth and to show that authenticity and to show that they are willing to be completely themselves at one every price for other people to do the same. And when they do the same, we just find each other and then we can support each other and go with one another. I feel it's super important to navigate that existence in exactly who we are because what else do we have to do? Why, why we will we be who we are and have to hide for a long time or forever who we are just to be accepted by the masses or by the society or by whatever you feel like we feel that we have to stay hidden in that box and fit that one way of being and that role that we gave us when we were born you have to act like that to maneuver that existence i don't think it's the same way anymore i feel we have become so much injustice and so much construct a uh, mental construct of judgment that now is the best time to go for it completely unapologetically like just go for it and it's gonna be uncomfortable because when people are accused to see truth they will react to it they will react to it by not acknowledging it by shying away from it or by even judging it and putting energy there to just dismiss that person truth that's what comes with it but nothing worth having come easy that's that's the quote i love the most nothing worth having come easy and that makes it even greater like if all the beautiful and worthy thing in the life were so available we will not find them worthy we will not find them even why i will why i will go for something that everybody else can have or why will i go through a path that everybody else can just know like this is there something about hardship that make the human just want to go forward and push through and win that battle inside themselves to get what they desire so i feel like it's this is the best time to really test yourself in our beliefs and to let go of anything that doesn't identify with it really for what we are if you feel like you're doing something just because you're trying to fit an image and project an image on other people of something that you're not maybe for a moment you're gonna feel satisfied of whatever gonna comes with it but at some point you're gonna feel trapped because you're gonna be surrounded by people that are only gonna be accepting 
of that image that you projected. And the moment you're going to start picking out your truth, you're going to see those people will not react positively to it. They're just going to either stop to talk to you or judge you or try to change you to go back to where you were before you starting to be exactly who you are. So there's never a wrong time to start, but if you can start today, it will make it easier to keep implementing that truth every day. And that's so crazy for me that it is becoming such a, a praise to be yourself when it should be exactly who we are. Like it should be the natural way of going for things, but we are so um, programmed to play that role all the time that we forget who we are. We forget what is us, what is my my reality, how I want to navigate that life, how I want to project myself into exactly who I am on other people and not just fit whatever is convenient for everybody else. I feel there's a lot of that in our era that we need to start just embody whatever, whatever you want to be, just embody that. Whatever is your essence, whatever inspire, inspires you, whatever is bringing sparkle into your stomachs, is it exactly who you should be and what you should do. And walking in the street, walking in the outside world, being exactly that, is going to feel uncomfortable at first because we never allow ourselves to be that for a long time. It's like starting all over again, but with better foundation. But I promise you, the lightness and liberation that comes with it is priceless, is really priceless. When you feel you can just be you and you're surrounded by people that only celebrated you more and more because you are more and more yourself, there's no better feeling. You feel like it's an infinite um, connection and acceptance of people that are only loving more and more as you showcase all your your petals and it's your flowers all your petals and you're showing up all the layers that creates who you are and they just applaud louder and louder as you're showcasing those layers i think what we think sometimes will happen is that people will we will always find ourselves that people are gonna dismiss us and let us go because we are being ourselves there will be maybe a portion of of the a portion of the um, the journey that will be that but when you overcome all those fears and you heal all those traumas and you really steps with confidence in who you are you're gonna attract people that are just attracted by that and they're gonna love just that and they're gonna see the full of who you are and just be excited as you involved in that version of yourself and you're gonna see you're gonna be around people that are gonna inspire inspire you that too so it's just like a big bubble of like re-attracting things that are better for yourself because we are being better for ourselves. so i hope you liked that video that was really a subject that was really important for me because i feel we all get to a point sometime where we doubt that being completely yourself is gonna be good enough even then like we still want to be full of ourselves and get the same um pros than when we're trying to be fake and the thing is we won't have the same thing but what we're gonna have is gonna be worth so much more than what we thought we had and there's gonna be a transition where we won't know what's happening we're gonna feel like we're failing at something because it will be all a crumbling of all we thought was secure and constant in our life and it will become something else but we have to be patient and have faith that is all working out for our best favor because i don't think there's a god that will have put us here to try to fit somebody else's version of ourselves, and it will be like oh well look at you you fell because you didn't play the role like this is not this is not what life is and i'm and i don't want to believe that this is what life is ever so that's why I want to encourage you today to see where you're still trying to please other people and please other entities on playing an act and you just let it go. You just let it go and decide that no, I don't want to be, I don't want to waste no more second not being completely myself and I want to learn more about myself and celebrate who I am every day. I don't want to sit there 
for a week and still have to pretend to be something else and in the weekend I can be myself. I want to be myself. I want to sit in my essence and nurture that and let it marinate as long as I exist. So have a beautiful day and see you in the next video.